Hey channel, Fernando from Skyfire Audio. Today we're going to play around with the Technics SL1500C and push the limits of its performance. The 1500C is a turntable retails at around 1300 bucks. And what I've done is mount a clear audio Goldfinger cartridge to it. Now that cartridge retails at $17,500. So we're going to see what we can get away with. Um, and um, I'm essentially going to play this record as you hear in the background. I'll tell you a bit more about it and uh, play it for you guys, uh, at least one track, so you can hear what sort of performance results we get from this. So hang in there, it's gonna be around 13 minutes, and we'll jump right so in. So if you're wondering why we're doing this, I get a lot of calls from clients understanding or trying to understand what the right cartridge is for a turntable, and they often skimp on the cartridge, which is a bit concerning. Um, I'm sort of from the world of um, <laughs> believing that really the biggest impact on a performance on the turntable is the cartridge. That's really where the magic happens. The turntable, the tone arm, the head shell, their job is to allow the cartridge to track properly and not get in the way. People talk about certain tables sounding magical and, and improving dynamic range and balance and all these crazy things. Really, it's all about the cartridge and how it's set up. Now that's why we like Technique's turntables. They are easy to set up, they are super robust and well built, and they don't get in the way of the performance of the cartridge. And that's what I'm hoping to illustrate here for you with this sort of silly experiment. For those of you unfamiliar, this is the awesome Technique's SL1500C. Comes in three colors, black, white, and silver. Um, it is the entry level essentially for the consumer line of Technique's turntables. There are other DJ turntables, but this is the entry level for them. I've done a pretty detailed video on this turntable, which I will link below for you in case you are interested. It's essentially a 1200 uh, design minus the pitch control. You see it's missing from here. Uh, uses uh, Obviously the strobe is also missing from the platter. It uses a little less expensive materials, but still a formidable turntable. I encourage you to watch the review if you're interested. And also this uh, cartridge came to us recently, the Goldfinger. Um, from a client, we purchased this. We sent it out to Vass here in Jersey to get a clean bill of health on it, and it is going to be up for sale in case you're interested in a sweet discount on, uh, on one of the best cartridges or consider one of the best cartridges out there. This is the Clear Audio Goldfinger Statement Moving Coil Cartridge, as advertised by Music Direct for $17,500. That's quite a bit of money for a cartridge. It's definitely on the high end. If you look at the specifications, We've got some interesting things in here. Well, you've got some reviews claiming how amazing it is, but they're using a 24 karat gold wire for the coils. So that's the wire that's um, wrapped around the coils. Apparently uh, it's 30% thinner, so it's lighter, blah, blah, blah. It's got a precision milled gold mounting for the magnet array and solid 14 karat gold body. So quite a bit of, uh, of its weight and uh, price probably comes from utilizing gold. And yes, that is in fact a little diamond uh, mounted in the front, because that's to make you feel good about it. Um, if all things fail and you destroy it, you could always turn that into uh, a diamond ring for your uh, beloved. Um, looking at the specifications, fairly heavy at 16 grams. Uh, frequency response are claiming all the way up to 100 kilohertz. That's pretty cool. Uh, Micro HD is the stylish shape. That's the cut of the diamond. Uh, cantilever is born. I like that combination of those two. Uh, track and force at 2.8 grams, which is a bit high, but uh, that's what it takes to activate this thing. And a 0.9 uh, millivolts for its output voltage. So not too high, not too low. And the body material at 14K, as mentioned before. All right, so let's, uh, let's get this thing going and see how good it sounds. This is the LP we're going to be showcasing. This is Rufus Reed presents Kaylin Cardello. Our good friend Michael Fremer is the executive uh, producer. Uh, it's a really wonderful sounding album, Modern Pressing. This is fresh off the, of the press. And we're going to play, play side one, uh, track one. I'll, I'll leave a link below uh, if you're interested in uh, purchasing this album, if you like what you're hearing.
You'll often hear me talk about the sort of price performance ratio for a cartridge on a turntable. So while it is silly to put a $17,000 cartridge on a $1,200 turntable, it's just as silly to put a $300 cartridge on a $4,200 turntable like the SL1200G. So what is the right price range? I would like to sort of see something in the performance range of around six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a fifteen hundred, on a twelve hundred G. The sweet spot happens to be a Sumiko Starling, right around the eighteen hundred dollar range. Now there are other manufacturers. Uh, Hana makes a super good cartridge. Um, Clear Audio. There's plenty of them out there. But in terms of price and performance, that tends to be where we find the sweet spot. Now when we get to the end of this record, I really would appreciate your comments on this. Do you think this is a silly combination? Do you hear a difference? Do you appreciate the quality of the cartridge? And also, do you think a turntable like this is a limiting factor or not for a cartridge of this level? Certainly, you tracked well, it measured well, everything on the bench showed up to be pretty good, and I was pretty pleased with the results, but obviously, it's more important what you guys think, so please leave a comment below.